Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the Springdale 38 FL. This is going to be a model that's long enough to be considered a park model or a destination trailer, but it's still going to have the towability you'd come to expect from a Springdale. Let's go ahead and start on some of the features up front. First thing I want to show you right here is going to be a power tongue jack. Nice and simple to use, just a matter of flipping it on, then it can go up and down. Nice and simple. Then it's also going to have a light in case you're hooking up or unhooking at night. Right behind, you're going to get your propane tanks. You'll have two 30-pound propane tanks, which is going to come with the cover. Nice, easy access. Just flips up right here. That way you can turn it on and off. The front is going to, again, be uh, have a nice curve. It's not going to be as flat as you see in a lot of park models, and that's going to help for some of that towability. And then you'll have a diamond plate up front to help against any rocks that get thrown up. If we take a look here, we get a huge power awning, folks. All right, it's gonna span almost the entire length of the trailer. You're gonna have speakers in the awning. That way, when the awning comes out, the music's gonna be playing down on your campsite, not blasting out at your neighbor. But it's, power awnings are great. Nice, simple push of a button rolls out, push of a button rolls back in. Now, this is gonna be our main entryway, which as you'll see, gets this big, beautiful sliding glass door. You get an easy grab handle right here, three steps to get in. That way the first step is gonna be nice and short, so it's easy to climb on in. And like I say, just open that slider up, lets in a ton of light, and it's nice and easy to use. As we start to move back on the camper, right here we're going to have a TV bracket. So the TV from inside you can take out, you can hook it up right here. Yeah, there'll be cable access right there as well as your electrical plug-in. That way you're going to be out underneath the awning. Everyone can sit around, watch TV, may watch the latest game, but it's nice to be able to have that access uh, again so that way you can have the TV outside. And then uh, for helping with that towability, you're going to get a spread axle system. As you can see, the axles are going to be a little bit further apart, which is going to help reduce the sway, which is very important when you have a trailer that's going to be in 38 foot. It's also going to have the correct track alignment system. So in case the axles do get misaligned, it's nice and easy for uh, us when you bring it in to go ahead and put those back in line, make sure you're going to uh, have even tire wear. All right, folks, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the Springdale 38 FL. This is going to be the big highlight of this floor plan. It'll be the front living room. You get this beautiful L-shaped couch here. Um, this side will fold out into a bed, so if you have guests, this will fold out into a twin bed here. You're going to have end tables on both ends of the couch, which is great. And then you have a direct shot right here at your main entertainment space. So you're gonna have this beautiful brick surround. You have the fireplace. That not only is gonna look really nice, but it is going to be functional. Um, it, it'll have a nice flame on there. It'll be electric and it's an electric space heater, so it will kick out a fair amount of heat. Then above, you're going to have your sound bar and it's gonna finish it off with a 39 inch TV that will be on a swing arm, so you can get a perfect angle as you're sitting on the couch here, or maybe you wanna turn that out so you can see um, while you're cooking, prepping food in the kitchen, you can do that as well. Also, in the front of the trailer here, we do have some great storage space up top. That's gonna run along the whole uh, width of the trailer. And of course, you get some lights here as well. As we start to move further down the, the coach, we're gonna have another couch gonna be right here. This is gonna be a slide out, so it really opens this space up. All right, great, great shot to the front. Um, more storage up top here. We have lights. Of course, we have windows all the way around. This couch is gonna fold out into a bed as well. So you can sleep two here. You can sleep one on the couch up front. Your dinette, this will drop down into a bed, and you're gonna have a bed in the, uh, in the bedroom as well. So plenty of sleeping space in this unit. Um, and again, this is nice and easy. Just pull this right here, the bed will drop right down. It's gonna sit right here, and again, that'll make into the bed. Also, underneath the dinette, underneath the seats, you're gonna have great storage. That'll be on both sides, nice and easy access. Just pop the doors right open. On the end here, more storage. Look at that. They expect you to spend some time in here. Again, you know, this can uh, be used as a um, destination model. So you can take it somewhere. If you have a seasonal lot, just park it on the lot. They expect you to have a lot of stuff, so they're gonna make sure you have all the storage amenities you're gonna need. Like this right here, a residential refrigerator and freezer. Take a look at that, folks. There's a ton of storage in there. They know you're gonna be here a while. They wanna make sure 
you're going to be able to carry enough food with you. As we move into the rest of the kitchen, you'll see plenty of countertop space here. We're going to have our three, uh, three burner stovetop, our oven underneath. Above that, we'll have a fully functional uh, hood with our light in there as well, and then our microwave. It says here this unit weighs about 8,500 pounds, so if you have a, a three quarter ton pickup, again, you can pull it very easily. Great storage up top here light underneath and then you'll notice we're going to have a plug in here and a plug in here they want to make sure if you have an electric skillet or anything else uh, that you're going to be using in the kitchen you have plenty of places to plug it in at a very large single bowl sink i really love having single bowl sinks when you're talking about park models because generally you're going to be using residential cookware and if you have the split bowl sometimes they're just not big enough to fit your big residential pots and pans in but with the residential sink it's nice and easy put it in there nice high rise faucet simple to do the dishes underneath here we get another nice little uh, storage cubby area there a spice rack here and we do get a drawer for our silverware all right folks let's head to the back of the trailer we can check out the bathroom and bedroom right outside the bathroom you're gonna get this beautiful linen closet now they do have a plug-in up top with a shelf which I really love if you want to put a radio up there or alarm clock or maybe you just want to put your iPod up there and charge it so it doesn't clutter up your countertop and it's out of the way but as we take a look inside again plenty of storage now they do have a linen closet in the bathroom as well which I'll show you in just a second but I just love that they had great utilization of space and put one out here as we walk into the bathroom, you have a nice towel rack right along the wall here so you can hang your towels, your robes, and then this is what I was mentioning, here is going to be your primary linen closet. So again, more great storage, you can put towels in here, toothpaste, everything else you're going to need. Right below you are going to have your stool, it's going to be in the corner so you have plenty of leg room. And then you have this very large neo-angle shower. Again, if you're spending a lot of time in this unit, which they expect you to, they, they made a larger shower so you're not gonna be cramped in there. Plenty of head space between the arch ceilings, and then they're also going to give you a skylight, lets in a lot of light, adds extra room. You have a couple of shelves in there, and your hand wand makes it nice and easy to wash off and clean the shower. And then to round out the bathroom, you're gonna have your medicine cabinet here. So you have a couple of shelves, of course, light up top. You'll have an electrical outlet for hair dryers or anything else you're gonna need. Great vanity, you have some countertop space here, and then you get more storage below. All right, let's go check out the bedroom. The bedroom of the 38FL is going to be very spacious because there is a nice big slide. One of the things I really love about it is you get a secondary door, so that way if the kids are sleeping up front, mom and dad can come in late at night and not have to disturb the kids, or maybe you wake up before they do, you can go out, sit on the picnic table and enjoy a cup of coffee. Now you're also going to get a very large plush queen bed here, so then you get great storage up top, you get uh, windows on both sides, lets in a lot of natural light. And then in front of there, at the end of the bed here, plenty of storage. When we open that up, you get great hanging wardrobe space right there, as well as some very large drawers underneath for any of your uh, jeans, t-shirts, anything else that's gonna be folded. Also, you get a nice stand here with a plug and a cable outlet so you can have a TV, and then you get storage underneath for DVDs or anything else that you're gonna want. Again, folks, this is a very large unit. It's a 38-footer. Uh, it's great if you have a seasonal lot. The other nice thing about it is maybe you decide you still want to go somewhere. Maybe you don't want it to be seasonal all the time. You can still take this one, all right? It tows very, very easily. Definitely worth coming out and taking a look at. If you have any questions, please give me a call. My name is Ian Baker, or one of the other amazing sales consultants here at American RV. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks, and have a great camping season.